Hello, and welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. My name is Max, and today I'll be showing you how to create a wireframe milling operation. Wireframe milling creates a 3D milling operation from two-dimensional profiles. Unlike 3D mold milling operations in Esprit, wireframe milling does not drive the tool off of a 3D solid model, which limits when it can be used. But it does offer users without a 3D milling license the ability to program some simple 3D shapes like planar internal and external corner blends. Wireframe milling requires two features to define the area to machine. First is the basic feature, which defines the basic shape of each pass. The basic feature can be an open or closed profile and must be contained in a plane that is parallel to the UV of the work plane. As you can see here, I have created a basic feature around the outside of this blended pocket. To test if this feature is planar, I can go into my masks menu and check the parallel planes option. And if your feature remains visible, that means your feature is on a plane that is parallel to the UV axis of your work plane and is suitable for wireframe milling. The second feature is the drive feature. The drive feature must be an open profile, and it defines the 3D shape of the toolpath by modifying the shape of each pass. This feature must be perpendicular to your basic feature, with either the start or the end point being on the basic feature. As you can see here, we have created our drive curve on the edge of this blend. This will tell the toolpath to adjust each pass position to account for the shape of the blend. When creating the operation, you must select the basic feature prior to selecting wireframe milling, and we will select the drive curve on the technology page. So to get to wireframe milling, we will come to solid mill traditional solid mill production, and then come over to wireframe milling. Once we open the technology page, in the general tab, you will input information such as the operation name, your tool selection, as well as your feeds and speeds. Next, we will come into our wireframe tab. The first thing we'll do is in the drive curve box, I will select the digitize arrow and then select my drive feature in my workspace. Next, you can set your max step over, your step tolerance, and if you would like to vary your step by scallop height, you can do so here. Next, the start point type and end point type Settings allow the user to control exactly where the tool is positioned relative to the start point of the basic feature. In this example, the top of the blend is a flat surface, so we can use a horizontal start point type to ensure the tip of the tool is even with the basic chain during the first pass. At the bottom of the cut, we will choose a normal endpoint type to ensure the tip of the tool can go below the drive curve and the contact point reaches the bottom of the blend. In situations where the drive curve terminates at the floor, you will typically want to choose horizontal to ensure the tip of the tool stops at the floor. So I will go ahead and select normal for this path. Next are our tangent extensions. So here you can use this to add a base curve start or end extension, which will extend the start or end of your base curve as well as for your drive curve. For this, I'll go ahead and leave those as zero and go ahead and press OK to build my operation. Now, if we look at our wireframe operation, we can see that it is following the shape of our basic curve, as well as morphing as it goes down our drive curve by the shape of that drive curve. Here we have an open pocket with tapered walls and a bottom blend with a non-standard blend radius of 0.192 inches that requires a consistent finish throughout. While a 3D between curves operation will be optimal for programming a feature like this, you can also use wireframe milling to program this using a bullnose end mill with a standard corner radius of 0.1875. The first step to create our wireframe milling operation will be to create the features required. So to create my basic feature, I'm going to select all of the horizontal edges along the top of my tapered pocket. Next, for my drive feature, I will select these two vertical edges along the inside of my pocket. 
Now the direction of your feature does not matter as wireframe milling is going to start at your basic feature and work its way along your drive feature. Next, we will create our wireframe milling operation. I will select my basic curve in my project manager and come back over to wireframe milling. In my general tab, I will set my operation name, select my tool and input feeds and speeds. Next, in the wireframe tab, once again, I will select my digitize arrow under drive curve and select my drive feature in the workspace. The change I will make for here is for my start point type, rather than using horizontal, I'm going to use a normal start point type. This is going to position my tool tangent to the feature start point and works well when we're starting on a wall. Now, I will also leave my endpoint type as horizontal as this will finish on a floor and I want the tip of my tool to stop at the floor. In order to make sure my tool starts above my pocket and doesn't take as big of a cut coming in, I'm going to add an extension to my drive curve start of about twice my step over, which is 50 thou, so I'll add a 100 thou drive curve start. And I will add a 50 thou base curve start and end extension, so my tool starts out in space, not on my part itself. Next, I will go ahead and click OK and apply my toolpath. And now we can see that our operation is working its way down that tapered wall and into the blend with a tool that does not have the same radius as the blend. So we are now able to use off-the-shelf tooling to machine this complex blend. In conclusion, wireframe milling is a great option to machine simple 3D shapes with two-dimensional profiles. That's today's Esprit's Tips and Tricks video. Don't forget to visit our website at espritcam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more cool videos. Stay tuned for other Esprit Tips and Tricks videos.